Hi everybody, this is Gat Saad. Came back a while ago from a lecture, quite tired. Do I sit back and relax for a while after a long lecture? No, I'm here engaging you, trying to address the infinite lunacy that comes at us from every possible direction. Some of you might remember a few days ago I posted a clip regarding a senior executive at Victoria's Secret who had the audacity, who was disgusting enough to argue that Victoria's Secret, which sells lingerie, which sells sex, which sells fantasies, typically it is uh, women who wear lingerie as a means of, one of many means of enticing men. But of course, that need not be the case because there are some women who have vaginas who wear lingerie but there are other women who have nine-inch penises who also wear lingerie. Everybody knows that. Certainly all the textbooks in biology know that women can have clitorises and women can have testicles. It's truly antiquated science to think that there is such a thing as mapping vaginas onto women and testicles and penises onto men. No one in biology believes that nonsense. Well, this uh, uh, marketing officer, this, uh, this executive, Actually, I guess he must have learned his biology back in 2005 where mm, they hadn't updated the books yet. He thought, well, uh, no, I don't think that we need to have transgendered folks in these shows. And he was, of course, uh, savagely beaten up, metaphorically speaking, all over social media. And I weighed in on that a few days ago. Well, here's the follow-up to that story. Do you think that he decided to stick to his principles, argue his position, say why? Uh, well, of course, transgendered people have rights, but maybe this is not the right forum, given what we sell, uh, for us to be, quote, inclusive. For example, I've noticed in all the years that I've watched uh, any images coming out of a Victoria's Secret catalog or a show, never have they shown uh, women who have beards, green eyes, and are 54 years old with deep voices and hauntingly good masculine looks, but who identify as women, such as myself. How can I feel good about myself when I watch Victoria's Secret and I don't see a representation of my womanhood in those shows? So I'm with those who are indignant. It's ridiculous that this guy would think this way. And uh, true to form, he decided to offer an apology, self-flagellation. I am bad. I am dumb. I'm a racist. I'm a Nazi. So here we go. My remark regarding the inclusion of transgender models in the Victoria's Secret fashion show came across as insensitive. I apologize. To be clear, we absolutely would cast a transgender model for the show. We've had transgender models come to castings, and like many others, they didn't make it. But it was never about gender. I admire and respect their journey to embrace who they really are. Ed Razik, Chief Marketing Officer, L Brands. So he came around. He was threatened with Gulag 13 expulsion. And he learned from his ways, and now he, he knows that women do come in many forms. Some women have vaginas, some women have penises, and it's high time that everybody knew that. I shared the story with a transphobic Nazi bigot, I mean my wife, and it turns out that she was very perplexed by this. She was shocked. She, she, she almost, it's as if she couldn't tell whether the Victoria's Secret story were a real story or one of the sad tire, the famous satire that the world has learned to appreciate coming from yours truly. I got to reconsider this marriage. Here is a woman that I'm married to who actually was confused that it would be an issue that Victoria's Secret uh, executive would not have women with nine inch penises on the runway. I'm going to warn her, she better come around or it's Gulag 13 for that transphobic bigot of a wife that I have. 
Slowly we inch. Slowly we inch.